This TA Tech tip discusses fitting multiple thermograms using the batch analysis function in NanoAnalyze. The batch analysis feature enables a user to analyze multiple DSC thermograms simultaneously. In order to utilize this function, multiple files will need to be loaded into NanoAnalyze, which has already been done here. After these files are loaded, click on Batch Processing and then DSC. Within Batch Processing, populate the Batch Processing window by clicking on the Create New Group icon. Within Create New Group, highlight the files that will be added to each group. This is done by highlighting each row and then clicking the arrow button for Over. If there's a file that's been added that you don't want in that particular group, click on it and click the back arrow. At this time, the group can be renamed. Click Add Group and then create multiple groups. Again, each with a new distinctive name. Add Group. Once all the groups have been created, click Done. After groups have been created, analysis can be completed. This is done by clicking on each group and then updating items such as molar heat capacity and applying a background. All the values for volume, concentration, molecular weight persist over from the Nano DSC run software. If changes need to be made, they can either be made line by line or by clicking on the select all rows in the table icon. The first application is to apply the blank to the selected rows. To update any changes that have been made to the table, click on the Update Table with Settings icon. So far, everything has been converted to molar heat capacity and the blank has been applied. The next application is to apply a constructed baseline. The constructed baseline is the region in which the area under the unfolding events will be integrated, that area being the delta H calorimeter value. In order to get a better idea as to what the constraint should be for the constructed baseline. You can bring your cursor over to any of these overlay graphs to get a preview of what the data looks like. For this data, it's known that a pre-transition region of 40 to 50 is appropriate, and a post-transition region of 75 to 85 is appropriate. These transition regions can be decreased, but I don't suggest going lower than a five degree region for either the pre or the post. Once changes have been made and a baseline type has been applied, highlight all of the rows again, choose to update table with the settings, and now choose to execute those settings or apply table changes to the data set. Now the data is populated with Tmax values, delta H calorimeters, values and then delta S calorimeter values. This data can be copied and pasted out of the table. After batch processing has been completed, individual data files and the analyses that were applied during batch processing can be evaluated if desired. The application of molar heat capacity has been applied the background, and the integrated baseline. All of those changes made in batch processing have persisted to the individual files.